Uh, my name is Matt Walker. I'm the Community Outreach Coordinator um, in the Marcel Shell Program, and we have the mission to protect everyone's right to breathe clean air. Uh, we've been in existence since 1967, and we try to achieve those goals through uh, government oversight, community advocacy, and uh, community organizing. I'm Jay Duffy. I'm an attorney here at the Clean Air Council. I think something important for folks to understand, a lot of focus has been on water in, uh, in the Marcellus Shale and how that has um, the pollution that's been associated with that and the drinking water. Um, what we focus on is the air quality issues and I also think that folks um, might not realize that it's not just the wells. There is a lot more to Marcellus Shale than just the wells. The wells is the starting point of a web that weaves its way across Pennsylvania that has pipelines has compressor stations, has processing plants, has different storage facilities, um, and each of those are emitting air pollution. And in order to um, emit air pollution, you need a permit to do so. So um, we have been reviewing those air permits to ensure that they are properly permitted, properly regulated, or using the best available control technology to lower those pollutants. The, the gas, before it's processed, has uh, hazardous air pollutants in it, um, volatile organic compounds which leads to smog, um, and all these different emissions that come up alongside the gas as it's leaking. So there's emissions there, and then there are emissions at each of these compressor stations. So I got a call, I missed a call on my office phone, I was out in the hall, got a call on my cell phone that uh, the Springville compressor station had just exploded. Uh, maybe 20, 30 minutes ago. Vera Scroggins and Frank Finnan are um, sort of on the ground, um, you know, residents were active on, on, on this issue and they were on site uh, pretty close to after the time the explosion happened and they were videotaping. Oh, look at the smoke from the compressor station. Whoa, it's burning up. Whoa, look at that. Compressor station's burning up. Look up there. Oh. Wow. What's going on? They're burning up. Whoa. Smell it. I hear some more sirens coming up. This is now more than an hour later since the boom. They want me out of here. Police are here. What's going on? Come on, let's go. Why? This is private property. I understand that, but it's highly explosive. Where's, what's highly explosive? The gas? Well, the facility, they want it for precautionary measures. Well, there's our a safety as well as everybody else. I know, okay? but there's a family in there with children. Nobody's evacuated that house. Well, Why not? Well, we're going to do it right now. Come on you down. are? It's over an hour. Come on down with us. Well, it's private property. I can stay here. I'm just looking out for your safety as well as everybody else. I know, but that's okay. I'm here to videotape what's happening here. Okay. You know, to show what's happening. This well, is major. I understand that, but you're a little too close to the. I know, but there itself. was an explosion here. The whole house shook. Right, but what if there's a secondary explosion? I, there could be, of course. But you don't want to be close enough. You need, either do I. You know what I mean? I understand. I'm I know, sure but don't a, don't get hurt. Don't I'm get sure hurt. You have a family at home as well as everybody else. I do, but no, I. Let's go. I. But make sure you're okay. You know, you go down because you're younger. Well, you go I'm down. I'm concerned about your safety as well. I know, come but. On. Can you just cooperate with me and come back down the hill? I will. I'm starting to cooperate. Well, come on. There are seven uh, engines, seven large engines at this compressor station. There are 60 hydration units. It is what's called a synthetic miner, which means it has the potential to emit a major amount of pollution, but it has uh, taken limits to, to reduce that to below major source status. Um, the difference between a major and a minor source of air pollution has to do with the stringency of the permit. Uh, if you have a major source of air pollution, there are additional record keeping, monitoring, uh, reporting requirements. There are also more stringent pollution uh, control technology requirements. We're curious to see what the Department of Environmental Protection's response will be uh, to this incident in the way of uh, possibly issuing violations, um, possibly fines, because 
as Jay explained, the compressor station is um, permitted to emit a certain amount of pollutants, and we believe that uh, this incident may have emitted more than that amount of pollutants. The Clean Air Council um, and the community, we have concerns about how quickly the permitting process is, is being undertaken. Um, there was some litigation last summer where a deposition, uh, which is just someone speaking on the, on the record in a court case, um, indicated that the Department of Environmental Protection uh, engineers and, and, and people who do permitting, they're only taking 35 minutes to permit uh, to, to issue a permit, uh, to review the file and issue the permit. Recently in New York, the, uh, the New York State has, has done an environmental impact um, assessment before issuing any, any permits for Marcella Shale drilling or any Marcella Shale activities. Um, this is something that we think is, is necessary before letting an industry come into a pristine area uh, that's near neighborhoods, near schools, near children, um, it, to ensure that, that the public health is, is being put in the, in the forefront. Uh, Clean Our Council has been working on a, a series of commenting campaigns uh, where people can, can write in suggestions, recommendations on specific permits. And we've been seeing a lot of public hearings. I think we're up to eight now that have been uh, five that, that we've already had, a couple more in the pipeline where residents come out and can speak their mind about what they think about this equipment proposed for their backyards oftentimes. Anyone can write a comment. Anyone can call the Department of Environmental Protection. Anyone can testify at a public hearing. You don't need to be an expert. You just need to be someone who's concerned or impacted.